How to study for the ASVAB. Enlisting in the military is a huge life choice for many individuals, and it comes with many screening and entrance requirements that can cause much anxiety for new recruits. One of the steps of the path toward enlistment is taking the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, or ASVAB. Since each branch of the military has different test score requirements, potential recruits may have to study very hard to achieve the career path they desire. Note that some high schools are now using the ASVAB to guide students toward optimal career path choices. So you may encounter this test even if you do not have military aspirations. Unlike most testing that occurs in an educational setting, there is often little formal guidance on how to prepare for the ASVAB, which means that the candidates must be proactive in their test preparation activities. There are several key tips to keep in mind that can help ease the studying process and ensure that candidates cover the required material. First, it's important to realize that the time spent preparing and studying will mean that you will know what to expect when you arrive to take the test. There are two versions of the ASVAB. The automated CAT ASVAB, computer assisted, or the paper and pencil ASVAB. If possible, you should find out beforehand which version will be administered. Though the content is the same, this can help you visualize the situation and optimize test taking strategies. There is much content available to inform candidates as to what types of material they will be tested on. There are 10 subtest categories that include questions on everything from general science to auto and shop information and assembling objects. Gathering study materials such as recommended books and practice tests is also a great strategy. This this will allow you to determine your weak areas and focus your energy on learning more about them. If you're short on time, it's best to focus your efforts on the four main subtest categories arithmetic reasoning, mathematics knowledge, paragraph comprehension, and word knowledge. These four subjects make up your AFQT score, which helps determine what jobs you're qualified to do and if you can even get into the military in the first place. It's also a great idea to schedule study time into your day and find a study partner who can ask you practice questions. This will help you to hold yourself accountable for doing enough studying. The best way to overcome anxiety about taking the ASFAB is by ensuring that you are well prepared. By focusing on studying, you will know what to expect, leaving your biggest worry to be getting a good night's rest the night before the test. For free practice test study guides and flashcards for the ASVAB exam, please visit us at uniontestprep.com forward slash ASVAB.